My equation is cos 2 theta plus sine theta equals 0. I will be finding answers that are in between 0 and 2 pi. To begin solving this equation, I will need to know an important trig identity called the double angle formula. These are the identities for the double angle formula. In specific, I will choose this one so that I only have sine in my equation. Now that we know the trig identity to use, I will rewrite my equation to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta and the rest stays the same. We have our equation, which actually looks like a quadratic equation. I'll rearrange the equation so that it's in the order of a standard quadratic equation. To make the equation easier to work with, I'll multiply everything by negative one. Now we have our rewritten equation, I will make it easier once again. I'll substitute sine theta for x. It's rewritten using x, and now it looks even more like a standard quadratic equation. Now that we have our quadratic, we need to factorize it. We need to find two numbers that have a sum of negative 1 and a product of negative 2. These two numbers are negative 2 and 1. I'll put negative 2 and 1 into the equation, which gives us this. By pairing these two and these two, we can now factorize the equation, which gives us this. Now, find values of x that will make the equation equal to 0. These are negative a half or 1. Remember, x stood for sine theta, so we can now write it like this. So now, we can use the unit circle to find theta. First, we can label the unit circle with coordinates. We can find sine theta equals 1 first. To do this, we should remember that sine is the y value of a coordinate. We can look around the whole circle and look for coordinates that have 1 as their y coordinate. 0, 1 has 1 as its y coordinate, so the answer for this question is pi over 2, because pi over 2 is the same as 0, 1. For the next question, sine theta equals negative a half, we need to use a special triangle. A special triangle that we will be able to use is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. These are the side lengths of the triangle. We will need to use our knowledge of the unit circle with the knowledge of the special triangle. Since we are finding sine, we will use the opposite side and the hypotenuse. We will choose the angle 30 because the opposite over the hypotenuse is 1 half. We will label the quadrant so that we know when sine is positive and when it is negative. Since the question asks for negative a half, we will find the answers when sine is negative in the quadrants t and c. This is because t and c stand for tan and cosine, which means that in these quadrants tan and cosine are positive, leaving sine to be negative. Remember our special triangle and remember that we will use 30 degrees because the opposite over the hypotenuse equals one half. This means we draw 30 degree triangles in the T and C quadrants because sine is negative there and our question is to find negative one half. We always draw our angles against the x axis and not the y. Since we have to find our answer in radians, we should remember that 30 degrees equals pi over 6. So this angle would be pi plus pi over 6 which equals 7 pi over 6. And this one would be 2 pi minus pi over 6, which is 11 pi over 6. This means that theta has three values and equals pi over 2, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6.